Hey gang, Scott here. I've got a black and white infrared tip for you in Lightroom if you're doing black and white IR work. I think you'll find this to be quite helpful and it might save you having to go through the process of creating a custom white balance profile if you're doing just black and white IR work. I've got a different video that explains how to do it. But if you need to go do it, no problem, I got you covered. But you know, I'm finding for my IR work, you know, this, this is the A7R I had converted to IR with LifePixel, and it, um, it's black and white only. That's the kind of the, the genre of infrared I really like. Using the camera profiles, especially black and white 3 or black and white 4 in Lightroom, are really, really good to get you going here. So I want to show you this. So here is the IR exposure, and I've done no processing on it whatsoever. This is just as shot, it came in, you know, the white balance is completely crushed. And normally I'd go into the profile here and I've got a uh, browse in my area where I have a couple of my own custom profiles to do, you know, my black and white infrared where I've done some sort of calibration and created profiles using the DNG profile tools. But instead, if you just go into the black and white area, black and white 3 and black and white 4 are really, really good starting points. I'm really enjoying these. And for this photo, black and white 4 is usually my go-to, but the, the whites there are a little bit bright. So I might choose black and white 3. Go ahead, close that. And then perhaps in this case, inch up those those shadows a bit, the blacks a little bit, and then do your normal processing. You know, I like to get you know, a good amount of texture, a good amount of clarity, maybe raise that exposure up a little bit and pull back on the highlights just a touch, and do the rest of your normal work you're going to do with your any of your photos, whether it's IR or not. Shape things, focus in on your subject, you know, this row of houses I want to get nice and crisp and all done. But it's that profile, black and white, Three and four, if you are doing black and white IR work and you're starting in Lightroom, check those out. They may get you enough of the way there that you don't have to go through the whole process of creating those custom profiles. It's you know, not incredibly difficult, but when you don't have to do it, hey, it's one less step you have to worry about. Hope you found the tip useful. Got any questions, go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.